Hello everyone, welcome back. Now, since my last recording, I have done a bit of enchantment with the XP farm we made in the last video. As you can see, I've got a couple of, uh, I love this bow. I've got a couple of enchants going on, and a couple of, couple on me, uh, me armor there as well. I'm not quite as big as I could get, but I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Now, what we're going to do today is build an iron farm. There's the XP farm there. I will make it look great. But once I've done the iron farm and we get loads of iron, I can finally get the wall finished. So, what do you what do you say? There's a cat somewhere. What do you say we get the iron farm done? Now, I do. This is where I'm going to put it. So it'll be up here. It should span quite big, I'd imagine. But the idea I have going forward on it, it should blend in with the XP farm as we go. Now, let's just go over to it and get started. I believe I have got everything I need. Oh, I'll show you in a minute. I believe I've got everything I need. I am a little bit under the weather today, so I've uh, got a bit of a bad throat. But I will do my best to carry on as good as I can. Right, this is platform again. I believe I've got everything I need. I may need more more building blocks. Don't know why there's a grey wall there, but and some there as well. If I need more beds then I suppose that's there. I will pr probably need more blocks. And I've only got one bucket at the moment. I haven't got enough iron. Once I get the iron farm, I'll have enough buckets. But I won't need any buckets because that'll be what I carry. But Hopefully I've got enough stock here, and we can uh, start building. So first thing I need, once again, I'm not really bothered what building blocks I use to actually build with. So let's have a look. We don't need that. That, that, that. We'll keep the food, because food's always good, isn't it? Right, so we'll put these down here. Right, we'll keep them there. What else do I need? Once I get up there, I'm going to need these and those. The beds we'll come back for. Like I said, there is a chance that I may have. Let's need that first. I may have need to go get more blocks. Possibly. Who knows? I don't know. We'll find out. Right. Uh, this is a trial and error design that I'm doing, same as I did with the XP farm, but that seemed to work out quite well. Uh, but. Like I said, I'm going to see what I can come up with. I should probably do some torches down there, actually, shouldn't I? But that's okay. Right, I'm going to put it about this height. Now, should we see what we can make up? Right, we'll put a box around here. This will be our central point. So if I go out, one, two... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seems like a good amount. You know, I think I can do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we'll keep doing this. Um, And on the last one as well. Right, that's eight and eight. Now we need to fill in this entire space. And this is where the iron golems will spawn. Come into the middle. There'll be lava floating up here. And they will die. Hopefully. And then we will collect some iron. So I'll tell you what, I will get back to you once I filled in this space. And we will see what becomes of it. Okay? See you in a sec.
Okay guys, so there we have it. I have built the platform. Looks quite good, doesn't it? Right, now what we're going to do, I have put some torches up, but what we're going to do is we're going to have three either sides, pretty much the same as what we did up there. We're going to put it like this, so you've got six in the corners. Okay. Like I said, I don't care what I make it out of at the moment. I will make it look pretty another time. It is literally just the iron I want. Fantastic. Right, and then what we're going to do is going to come across, we're going to put a block, one back like this, all the way around. So we will get to this is where I run out of blocks. You wait, you wait and see. But this is definitely where, where it happens. Um. Okay, right. Anyway, I'm going to get this done and then probably go get more blocks and then I'll get back to you once I've done all that. Okay. Right guys, and uh, there's the platform. This is where the iron golems are going to spawn. I hope, as long as this works. Now, what we need to do is get water in the corners. Well, actually, first, let's, let's sort up the killing system, shall we? What you want to do is you want to put a block on top, two blocks on top, of the by the way yes i did have to get more blocks i did not have enough two blocks on top of the hopper put a sign on all of these don't know why i pressed a letter then didn't need to but yeah sign on all of them fantastic and then you want to come up to here and you want to get a sign Where the hell did that sign go? I don't know. Right there, and then one there. So I feel like this is going to work. Well, that broke both of them. Okay, so this isn't really what I'm. Um, I'm going to go and figure out how this works. Give me a minute. Um, I put here. Look at that. Look at that. Trial and error prevails. Hey, eh? Because then the um, golems are going to come over. Because that's going to be lava. So that's, that will hold lava. And then the golems will come over and get them. Fantastic. Right. Now, as you can see, the water doesn't quite go straight away to the middle, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Let's go get more. Now, this is a long and painful process, so I will get back to you once I've had it done. Okay, there we are, guys. I have put water in all the corners and every... Oh, you come back here. And every single block of these. I did not let you watch it because I am not into cruel and unusual torture. Not all the time, anyway. Uh, as you can see, the, all the water flows into the middle here. Into these. Now, these ones here, I might need to change four hoppers uh, but first I need some iron before I can do that obviously this gap will not be here uh, this is literally just here to get myself up and about now 
Lava will go in here, which I will go get after I have made the uh, prison for the villagers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one here, there, there, and there. I will get rid of this. I obviously I had to do an uh, infinite water block because I did not want to keep jumping down here. So I will make one and show you how to do it. And then I will make the other lot off camera because I don't think you really want to see me make three of the same ones. So a little speedy, speedy run. And I will show you how to make the villager spawner, but a uh, villager place. But like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to work. There's also something down there I made off camera that I messed up because I didn't record it when I should have. But I'll show you later. But let's make the uh, holding cells for our villages. Okay guys, and there you have it. We have our first villager holding cell. As you can see, the villagers stay here. They cannot get out. They cannot go in. And if we look, flipping water is driving me mental. If we look here, there is a one space gap where I'll put a few zombies. They will walk up and down, waking up the villagers. The only place for the, um, the iron golems really to spawn is here. Now I will put half slabs on top of all of it. Now I've got slabs here. So I'm going to put slabs on all of these because this will stop anything from spawning on top. So you do this all the way around and do it on top of here, on top of the glass and on top of where you're going to keep the zombies. And it will stop absolutely anything spawning up there or the iron golems spawning up there most importantly because we need them to spawn. We need them to spawn in here. Right, I'm going to go off. I think I'm going to have to collect more materials. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go off, build three more of them. And I will get back to you as soon as I've done that. See you soon. Missing you already. Right, there we are guys. I have finished all the compartments for all the villagers and the little compartment at the back here for the zombies. There is just one zombie in each one. That's all you need. I am now breeding all of the villagers. I've put nine beds in each. I started off with two villagers and then I've just started breeding. If you're wondering how I got them up here, this... Uh, this, basically. I put a load of beds in there. So when it came night time, all of it just went in there. Then I blocked it off. Then I moved all the beds from there to here. 
So they would all move into here. Then I blocked it off. And then I leaded it straight up into the, well, the basically the prison cells for them, I suppose. And that's where they all are. And then I started breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding. And I've nearly got nine in each. Oh, oh there's that one. It is doing unbelievably well. And technically, I haven't actually showed some of these the zombies yet. So that you know, doing remarkable. You can hear the zombies here. Uh, one thing I do need to show you, I did mess up a little bit because if we go down here, oh, it's a bit of a walk. But if we go this way, jump over here. Now this I made off camera. I didn't mean to make it off camera. I forgot to press record, but. I suppose these things happen. This here is a villager breeder that I made. Um, I will explain to you how it works in case you don't know. Basically, you put a normal farm with either potatoes or carrots in there. You put a composter um, above the water in the middle and a brick above the composter. This is so the villagers don't jump off, land on here and ruin well, basically just ruin the entire crop because they're falling off this. Over here, we put trap doors. Three at the bottom, three at the top. A hole in it with water shooting down that way. And three beds. So these guys will share food and they'll make a baby. The hanky panky, 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 hanky. And they'll make a baby. And the baby will connect to these beds. And it will run right through. And it will fall down this pit here. Into the water. And if I remove this brick, you can see right there, loads of villagers for whatever you need them for. I am going to turn this into a building. And the villagers are not going to stay down there. I will... Get a bigger build in here and have them all in here. I might even make it a trading hall so they literally come in. I'll try and put them in the right little spots. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, it's trial and error. Trial and error. But as you can tell, the, um, the iron farm is working unbelievably well. But I need to get rid of this at some point. Once I've finished all the stuff up there, I need to do. I need to get rid of this because there is the odd iron golem that spawns on the top of the stairs. And quite frankly, I do not want that. But while I've been making it, it has been going off. And it, has, it is very effective. Uh, if we just go up here. I will make an easy way up. Oh, you can hear some. You can hear a lot killing now. Oh, that's loud. That's loud. But as you can see, it works unbelievably well. Let's wait for all these to die, then we'll see how many come in. Look at that. See, it works so well. Um, I don't like that sound. I'm going to find a way to block that sound. It might just be a case of getting the boxes, putting them straight down the bottom with loads of hoppers. Because I got the iron to make loads of hoppers now. But loads of hoppers right the way down. Make a platform out of here. Make a tower from the bottom of it going down, light up all the inside. Tower from that one. And a bridge, I'm thinking, going from this one to that one. So I can get to the XP bit a bit easier. But we'll worry about that later. Uh, so I'm going to finish off the iron farm. And finish off breeding the villagers up there. Noisy bug, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to finish off um, breeding them up there. And then once they're all grown up, I'm going to show the zombies to them. Get rid of all this. And then that's the iron farm pretty much sorted. So I will see you after. Shut the hell up. Thank you. I will see you after I've done all that and plan our next thing to make. Next thing is... I'm going to do a bit of mining off camera and get what I need to finish off 
the wall because I think it's about time to finish off that. So, yep, I'm going to do that. And then uh, I'll see you when I'm ready to sort out the wall. As you can see, I have taken down the structure I used to get villagers into the iron farm. That's all running and looking beautiful. I've got the XP farm up there, which means we are nearly ready to continue with the wall. As you can see, I've got the blocks to do the wall. I've got the wood to do the wall. Chains. I am going to need a few more some soul lanterns, which means going to get some soul sand from the never so that is our next trip is to go to the never and collect soul sand now as we all know the never is a dangerous place but i do have food and i do have uh pickaxe and stuff it's not that far i know roughly well didn't mean to press that i know kind of roughly where the soul sand is in the never uh so hopefully i can get it pretty easily so we're gonna go to the never and search around now let's uh jump in the portal and see where we come up shall we let's go Whoa. Oh, here we are in the never and straight away I've got something trying to kill me. Oh, that's not good. Why is there a villager here? What's, up? What's going on? What's going on? I don't like it. This isn't normal. This isn't what this is meant to be about. Right, I think it's all gone. Hello, Mr. Villager. I don't know why you're here and, and a random pig. That is the most random, weirdest thing I have seen. Alright, so now I'm look at this gas. So now I'm going to go away. So now I'm going to uh, look around, see if I can find the soul sand. And we're gonna get searching. Let's have a look. Right guys, uh, we are now back from the Never. Honestly, I've forgotten how creepy and nerve-wracking the Never can be. Uh, it's not. It's not a nice place. I wouldn't advise it for kids. It's not a good place to go. Everything wants to kill you, and everywhere you step, there's lava. But we have got some Neverack, which I didn't need. One brown mushroom for some strange reason. I picked that up. I'm not actually sure why. Might use it later though. I don't know yet. And I have got three stacks of soul sand, which is what we wanted. I also found, a, I saw a little bit of a bastion in there. So I'm wondering, you know, I've obviously found one before. Um, but I'm going to have to go back into the nether and completely tear it down to get the black brick. Because that is going to be unbelievably useful. Plus, there's treasures in there. So, now we've got the stuff to get the war started. So, that's what we're going to do. So, what do you say? We stop the talking, get the building, and get this war finally start in a way that it's going to protect our village. Right. Wish me luck, and let's see how we get on.
All right, guys, here we are on our section of wall that has been finished. I think it looks pretty darn good. Uh, I will do the other sections off camera because, let's face it, that time lapse was a little bit long. But I think it, it gets the job done, you know. I'll have to light something up here, I think. But now if we go back here. Oh, let's get rid of him. Oh, I haven't got my sword here. Balls. Balls, 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 balls. Balls, balls. Sword, sword, sword. Right, there we go. Right, I'm on fire. Ah, fire! Oh, that felt good. Anyway. Like I said, I'll do the rest of the sections on camera because the time lapse was a bit long. But I think this doesn't look half bad. You know, I'm 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 happy with it. You know, it does kind of thing. It lights up a little bit, a little bit go around as I do that section there, that section up there. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bridges yet, but once I come up with an idea. I will add it to the wall and I'll make an entrance, a way to get up here from inside the uh, this village hall, as I'm calling it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what, pretty much how I'm happy with the wall. Oh. Fuck off. Don't build that, right? Right. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the way the walls turned out on this bit. I have used a lot of resources. I might need to go mining again. So much mining. Oh, they, why won't these guys just fuck off? I'm trying to do my outro. Piss off. I'm on fire again. Fuck. Oh, it's okay. I, I pumped myself out magically. Um. Oh, piss off. God's sake. I got an XP farmer bear. Go stand in there until I kill you. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. I'll... That's completely threw me off. Completely threw me off. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll end the video there with this section of the wall done. Um, and when we come back to the next video, we will be doing a bit of terraforming. Because I need this mountain to be gone. I want the front of this gone and stairs put down. But like I said, that's that's saved for another video. Um, and then we will start. Kiss off. And then we will start uh, building houses. So we'll build a house for the village of Spawner and somewhere for the villagers to go. Because right now they're still in that tiny hole. we got to try and fix that. And then we'll terraform all these. We'll get a proper farm going on. Probably down in the corner down there. Get that all lit up and looking awesome. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. If not, leave it. You know, that's fine. If you got this far, I'd actually be quite impressed. But I will see you in the next video. So be good. And if you can't be good, don't get caught. <music>